Lesson 41. Lesson 41, units, unit multipliers. Page number 184. You guys have done this before. You hear me say that a lot. But what we're doing is learning again, and maybe even a little more challenging stuff, on how to change from one unit to another. If I have 4,322 inches, and I want to know how many feet that is, it's being able to figure that out. If I have 4,123 inches and I want to figure out how, how many miles that is, you can figure that out. Okay. I don't know whether or not I do it differently than the way you were taught in the past, but uh, I have a certain method to do them that works all the time. So you only do the same. You do the same method every time instead of learning several different ways of doing the same thing. Because I hate more only than one way. Hmm? Only teach us one. I will teach you one method. Not even bring up another. Method. I yeah. won't bring up another method. Just you one method. Bring up another method. I won't bring up another method. You sound like you're on like pledging an oath. I will not <laughs> no. bring up another. method. You sound like Obi Wan Kenobi saying that while they're in their little car and the little guys in their white Peter. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to change. You haven't seen Star Wars? What is wrong with these? 600 feet, 2 inches. Okay. First thing you do, these are the steps. You write your initial unit. I thought you were going to say write your initials. I was like, how's that going to Whoa, help? that's easy. <laughs> and you're done. 600 feet. Then you write a multiplication sign, and then you draw a line. So far, pretty easy. <laughs> Rochelle, Rochelle. <laughs> All right, next step. Whatever your unit was here will go on the bottom. Always. Always. All right. And the number that goes in front of that unit, in this case feet, is a one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now what we're doing is we're going to inches. Now if we can compare our feet to inches, we're in a good place. If we can't, then it's gonna we then we compare our feet to whatever we know that's gonna lead us in that direction. In this case, it's very it's very easy because everybody knows there's how many inches in a feet. Oh. 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 There's 12 inches in a feet. <laughs> so you write the conversion there. This is the important steps to doing these is your conversions because that's what you'll be doing, guys. After you write your initial number, the rest of it will be conversions. And then you cross out your units that are similar and you multiply and divide and you're done. So in this case, we can cross that out, cross that out. We're left with inches, so that means we stop because that's what we're going, that's what we're trying to get. If I was trying to find centimeters, I wouldn't be done yet because that's not where I'm at yet. So I keep going until I get to centimeters, okay? So at this point, 600 feet is 600 over one. So I have two fractions that I'm multiplying together. So I'm going to take 600 times 12 and get 7,200 inches for my answer because my units all canceled except inches. If your units don't all cancel except that last one, you did something wrong. <laughs> all right, so let's look at one. That is 63,241 inches, and I'm trying to convert inches to miles. Okay, step one. I know that there is right here, right what you're given. The next part, would you say, Mike? Did you say something, Michael, or somebody else? So, times line. And unit goes on bottom is? Okay. Do you know anything about how many inches there are in a mile? 5,200 UV times 12. So no. 
Do you know how many inches there are in a foot? Twelve! Is your right side? Is feet getting closer to miles or further away from miles? Definitely closer. So that's a good direction to go. Then we cross out our inches because they're uh, cancelable. Always got me confused. Got to go on the bottom of the top. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you start with, Elias, is on the bottom. All right. So I'm not where I want to be yet. So now I make another multiplication sign in another line. I just keep going until I get to where I want to be. Do I know? All right, what, what unit of measure goes down here? Foot. Foot. It will always be the opposite position. So we started here, and now we go down. So do we know anything about feet in miles, Riley? 5,280. There's 5,280 feet to one mile. So there's another... So we have two conversions here. Now I can cross my feet out. I have one on top, one on bottom. I'm left with miles. That's what I'm looking for, so I stop. Do you even like figure out the number? Or, or? So now we multiply. Okay. 63,241 times 1 times 1 divided by 12 times 5,200. And 80. So you multiply 12 to 5,280, and then you take the top number and divide it into the bottom number. Anybody know what that is? I have a calculator somewhere. All right, so we have. I wish I had a decent calculator. I wonder if I have. Oh, I do. I have a scientific calculator here. Which is always handy, except it's in my way. <laughs> okay, so I have 63,241. There's my division sign. Oh, here. Divided by 12 times 5280 in parentheses equals. So, almost a mile. Yeah, that's quite the calculator. So can we say like 0.98 miles? You can just say one. Or, okay. That's really weird. You can just put one. You know what's really weird, really scary, is that I know how many inches there are in a mile. <laughs> how many? Hmm, I wonder how many there are. No, because that's all. That's not it. How'd you do that? So let's try. So we can just round on. 63, 240. Two divided by. Oh, yep. Two six two six two six. I think one more. So sixty three thousand. Oh, what should I try? Four. 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 Two six two. 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 Two can you not go one more? Oh, I can go one more. I can go more than one more. But Six, three, two, three, two six, more. Three more. Three more. Sixty-three, two, two, one. Oh, fifty. Fifty. Divided by twelve. Six, three, three, Come on. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Fifty-four. I think it's going to be two more. Two hundred and sixty. Whoa! I think this past that just keeps going. Oh, come on! You go to go to eighty. All right. Eighty. We're 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 just gonna go crazy here. <laughs> it's eighty. Whoa! It's over eighty. <laughs> I did three hundred. Crazy. Okay. Four hundred. Oh, I'll never know. He's a little bit under four hundred. I did four hundred. It was one point oh 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 six three one three one three one three. So a tad under four hundred. I'll get it. Hold on. But I wasn't too far off just by throwing a number up there. All right. Feeling pretty good with those? It's sixty three thousand three hundred sixty. Thank you. Four sixty off. Wait, what did you say? What is it? 
So we're going to change 44 square feet to square inches. You will not be writing 44 square feet that way. The correct way to write 44 square feet is 44 feet squared. And we're going to inches squared. Oh, I hate these. Okay. 44 square inches when you're doing unit multipliers is even written differently than this. But when you're writing a unit uh, on any number that has to do with square, you're going to put a 2 on there. When you're doing volume and you're using cubic inches, you're going to have a 3 up there. Okay? But when you're doing unit multipliers, to make life easier, you don't even use the 2. What you'll do is you'll write 44 feet times feet. Oh. Because feet times feet is feet squared, right? So you're going to yeah. do that. So we're not to run it down twice. You're going to do that, and you're going to put a line. What goes on the bottom? Feet One. times feet. 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 feet times feet. Not feet times feet? Nope. Feet. They do it now. You can do it now. You do it now. Okay, we're going to inches. How many feet are in an inch? What? One. Uh, or how many inches in a foot? <laughs> okay, 12 inches in a foot. When we cancel, we only cancel one of, them. Only cancel one of our foots. So, it's feet. so that being the case, we got to cancel the other foot. So we have to make another line and put the exact same thing again. And then this foot cancels with this foot. And since we're looking at inches and neither one of those canceled, guess what those are? Square inches. So that tells us we're done. So now we multiply 44 times 12 times 12. It's 6,300. What's if you add a zero to that is how many inches are in the model? There we go. It's true. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Okay, so you see what happened there? When you're dealing with area, square inches, square feet, whatever, you're going to have to multiply your unit multi you're going to have to use your unit multiplier two times in order to cancel out these two. So that's it. So your answer is in inches squared. Your answer is in inches squared, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, lesson 42, we're skipping. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Yeah! Is there one doing? person? Wait, what are you doing? Oh. You said lesson 42. What the? You know, we're skipping lesson 42. Oh, I thought you said with lesson 42, we're skipping. I was like, we're skipping. I thought we were skipping to lesson 42. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant, too. We're skipping lesson 42. So, guys. Let me give you a little, let me give you a little insight. Last time we skipped okay. lesson. You ready for it? Insight. Forward ready. Okay. When you're doing your homework, and you come to a problem that has in those little parentheses a 42. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> if you do it and you come to me and say, Mr. Leiter, I don't know how to do this one, I will mock you in front of everyone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I will laugh at you, though. <laughs> you will be flogged. You will be flogged, oh, yeah. I do have a flogger in my room. <laughs> Where? It is hidden in the ceiling tiles. <laughs> I will probably throw one of my plastic pirates. Do you know where he is? I was just going to say, he's hidden. Yeah. He used to be up there. He was in one like. Who hides him? Mr. Lighter, at some point he was over there stuck in the ceiling. I know. It was great. My legs hanging down. You know we're still recording, right? No. <laughs>